And uh, I want to get into liberal Christianity today. You say, what is liberal Christianity? Let me give you four things. There are more. Number one, they deny the virgin birth. Number two, they deny the, uh, the inspiration of the scriptures. Number three, they, they change the gender of God from a male to a female. Whichever one you like the most makes no difference. And they deny the new birth. They deny the new birth. And then they preach a social gospel. So why do they do this? Why does liberal Christianity do this? Why do they come out and just absolutely just throw jettison everything that we believe and create their own theology? Let me read to you what a theosophist wrote over a hundred years ago. And what she said is literally, and we're indebted to her for this, because what she says is literally the, the, the doctrine of liberal Christianity today. Her name is Helen Blavatsky. She's the, she's the uh, mother of theosophy. Theosophy means the wisdom of God. Theos and sophist, God's wisdom. They always choose terms like that to give credibility to who they are, you know. They like titles and all that. The wisdom of God. Here's what she says. The Bible makes it quite clear the entity named as Jehovah chose Israel to be his chosen people. As Jehovah is but the particular national deity of Israel. He has nothing to do with other nations or races. And it seems strange that non-Israelites should want anything to do with him. This applies to Christians too. As Jesus criticized and rebelled against the rules and commandments of Jehovah. More than anyone else in the gospels are full of such instances. And she uses time and time and time again to show you what these are. I'm not going to deal with that. Uh, today because I want to cover a, a greater subject today. In the case, Jesus himself believed and taught that he, Jesus, was to be a savior only to the Israelites and not to other races and peoples of the world. Is that true? No, it's not true. No, John the Baptist says, this is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the Israelites. No, what did he say? Sin of the world. All right, sin of the world. Paul said God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Christ said to them, I have sheep, other sheep, which are not of this fold. The Son of Man came to seek and save that which was lost. He did not come just for the Israelites. That was passing. He came for all mankind. And both, of course, they don't have any problem with, with twisting things. Listen to this. There are also numerous instances related in the Gospels where Gentiles, meaning non-Jewish people, approached Jesus to be healed, only for him to inform them that I was not sent to the Gentiles, but to the children of Israel. Is it right to take the children's bread and give it to dogs? I mentioned that a moment ago. She uses this. She uses this to say that when the Lord Jesus came 2,000 years ago, he came as the Savior of Israel, or Israelites, Savior in the sense that they understand Savior to be, and that he excluded all Gentiles. Now, you remember how I told you before, if you can understand how to put that thing, what he talked about to her, and he said, he said it's not me to take the children's uh, bread and give it to dogs, what did she do? What was her response to him? That's okay, Lord. It's the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the table, right? Oh, woman, how much great, how great thy faith. She was a Syrophoenician, right? She was a Gentile, okay? And he welcomed her in and received her because of her faith. You remember what Blavatsky said? That he was only, and he, he excluded the Gentiles, and he was only for the Jew. But remember, where does that fit? Where does that fit? How do I understand that? Why would he say that to her? Why would he say, go only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Go not in the way of the Gentiles, but go only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why would he say that? How do I understand that? I am a dispensationalist. I was not a dispensationalist when I got saved. I wasn't anything when I got saved. <laughs> I just knew I was saved. I didn't know anything. I was as ignorant as you can be. But I got into the Bible, began to read it, and I learned what a dispensationalist was. It is somebody that believes that God deals with mankind according to a certain rule, standard, law, or something during that period of time. 
But then that transitions into another period of time and over and over and over again. We are in what's called the age or the dispensation of the grace of God where any man can approach into Christ. The, the veil ripped from the top to the bottom, new and living way, that is to say through his flesh. That's what's called the age of grace. This was not the age of grace. This was before the final decision had been made about whether Israel was going to accept or reject their Messiah. And John the Baptist, remember, could have been Elijah, which was prophesied to come. And Elijah was going to come to Israel for the day of the Lord. Okay? Not Gentiles for the day of Christ. Is there a difference between the day of Christ and the day of the Lord? You better believe there is. There's a vast difference between the two. Okay, we understand that. Now, I don't, I don't have to convince anybody in here this morning that it has a place. But you see, she cherry picks things like that and pulls them out. Not only her, my dear friend, but liberal Christianity is in with her exactly, right down the line. 